Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take a configuration backup of your SAN switches. So this is my SAN switches, which is you know, running in production. So I need to make some changes. So before making any changes, it is recommended to take the backup. So if, so if something goes wrong, at least you can do it back. So let me show you how you can take the backup. There are two ways how you can take the backup. One is through the FTP, and the second one is SFTP. I'll show you both options. So first, let me let me show you the SFTP option. First of all, you need to open settings. This one and then search for optional features then you have to search for open ssh server so this one you have to install i have already installed to just to save the time so you will see an option install here so once it is installed then you need to login on your switch the sand switch through ssh i already logged in on this switch the reason why i have installed open ssh because when you are going to upload the configuration file it will ask for ftp or sftp so i have configured my laptop as an sftp server so When I am going to save the configuration file, I'll give the path of my laptop. So start. Config upload as the command for which you can upload the configuration file. So here you can see there are multiple options. One is SCP, FTP, and SFTP. Let's start with SFTP first. Then I'll show you how you can take backup to the FTP. So SFTP, then the IP address of your laptop. My laptop IP address, then whatever your IP will be, you have to specify the same. Then the username through which you log in on your laptop. And the file name, just leave it as it is. And type all. Password of your laptop. So here you can see all configuration parameters are uploaded. You will be uploaded on your local system. And let me show you the path where as uploaded. Is my machine in the C drive users users so here, here you can see config file so you can open this file open notepad okay this is the configuration file but now we of this brokered switch right so this is how you can take the backup of your brokered so other option is you have to take the backup through the ftp so in order to take the backup through the ftp what you need to do is you need to configure your ftp server first so let's go to role panel All features and from here, yes, expand the internet information services and install FTP server and web management tool. Once it is installed, because earlier it was like blank, you need to check it and install it. I just pre install just to save the time. So once it is done. Then you need to open IAS. Uh, 
and simply right click here and add FTP site. We need to specify the FTP site and the path where you want to keep the configuration file. Like I am using this FTP site, my address and FOC. So then click next and no SSL. All IP addresses and select the basic authentication select for all users and give the read write option. So I have already configured one site. This I'm just demonstrating how you can configure it. So once it is there, as I have set a path in in the C drive. And FTP site here is my FTP site. So just try to access it for FTP and 154 and 241. And it is asking for the credentials. So I logged in through FTP site, right? So right now nothing is there. So let me take the backup. Again, config upload. Then FTP default option and one fifty four ten to forty one. Username will be mine of the file as it is default. Um, your credential. So let see. Let me refresh here. You can see it is available in the FTP. Just open it with the notepad. Just copy it, paste it somewhere in the desktop. It is not opening directly. So Again, this is the configuration backup. So this is how you can take the backup of your rocket sand switch by using FTP or SFTP. I hope this video will be informative for you. Stay tuned. Keep watching. See you in next video.